Are you tired of having the same boring controller like everybody else? Well, I was. So I made this. So here's that controller from the free view, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's basically just an Xbox One controller with an, an extra joystick. It has a 9 volt battery holder for when you're storing it, because it uses that power in the Arduino. Uh, it's more comfortable just to hold it than to actually keep it in there while you're playing, but whatever. Um, then we have a secret button. That's a surprise tool. It'll help us later. So yeah, I'll uh, get into tearing it down and show you guys what the heck I'm doing. Alright, here's the spaghetti mess that is the three joystick controller. Um, I don't know where to start. So here's the outside case. I This is my modification for the 9 volt battery, as you can see. Uh, modification for the hand grip for the 9 volt battery holder. Whatever. Um, here's my modification for the, um, in order to have clearance for the third one, because the, uh, board it's on, I didn't calculate it right, so, yeah. Oh well, it still works. Um, so here's, yeah, here's the main thing. You literally just glue it right onto the cat thing. You glue it onto this, I uh, I use a Dremel to, uh, uh, get out, like, the middle piece where the buttons were. You just, it's like, zoom, 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 fuzz, fuzz, whatever, normal noise here. Uh, around, it kind of broke, like, the connection. I thought that was going to be bad, and I didn't think it would be able to click in like this, or like this. It, it didn't matter. It didn't care, so. There you go. You just hot glue it in there. You slap it in. Bang. That, that's part one of many, maybe. I don't know. And then you have this. I don't know if you can even see that. So now, basically, you just have your five wires. You have power ground, y-axis, x-axis, and the switch. You run that to the Arduino, fam. Alright, and the Arduino is like, hmm, what you doing? And if you go, like, in whatever way you go, you can program it to do that. So, it's, it's not that hard, really. I just, uh, I soldered right onto the connectors where you would normally press the buttons for three of them. After I figured out you can do that, the last one actually connected directly to the connector pain in the foot, or whatever, and that's the ground that I use, it's not that hard to just scrape off the top layer. I'll have a link in the description of all the uh, videos I use as reference to do this, that is for the little button switch that I have right there, um, I have that, worked out to that, that's the ground for that, basically ran, like, copy some code from somebody else, I'll link, that gives it rapid fire, whatever. Uh, so yeah, this is my spaghetti mess, uh, I'll take pictures and show you guys all that, if this doesn't come out good enough. So yeah, that, that's pretty much that. Uh, I'll show the code somewhere, either in the description or in the video, whatever. Uh, and then if this doesn't turn out well, I'll just throw off a picture of it. But here's basically all the code, I mean, you take that, you give it to the Arduino, you have your line x axis potentiometer just like you do on normal controllers, you know, that bad boy, that little green thing, those are potentiometers, tells you whether or not you have more or less voltage, and then it goes in there, those math things, and you know, if it's good, like if it goes up, you can calculate it, it goes y, or like a, or down, so. That's, that's all it is. Um, yeah, it's 20 ohm resistors because I'm lazy and I'm pretty sure that was the right one I needed. And then I use PC817, which is a ice, opto isolator, opto coupler, whatever, um, to act as like a, a relay without using a relay because, yeah. And that's what, like, all these things that are covered up like that, and that, and that, yeah. That's all those are, are the little optical isolators, they're really small, and I don't want to crush them, I already broke one when I was building it, because I bent it too much. But that's the code, that's the project, and this is the two torques things you need to do it. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys will see some highlights, quote unquote, highlights of me playing with the controller. Hopefully they're good. And the next video will be of just me playing with the controller with a controller cam. And I do pretty well. I'm not going to spoil it, but I do really well. And you can probably find it right up there in that corner. It might pop up right now if I'm not lazy and remember to do that. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And here's the last few highlights right now. Be advised, you are keeping for resupply. This is Jaguar 3 0. Jaguar 3-0 in We've got a UAV on the 